Cage Chaos 6, Canterbury Park, Shakopee, Minnesota. We are up to the main event. I am Ben Fierce, joined by Dan Moret. This is it. This is the main event. If you're not pumped, get a life. Chad Curry versus Alonzo Martinez. Chad Curry in the black trunks. Alonzo Martinez in the black tights. This is about as good a main event as you are going to get in this state. Alonzo Martinez, if you don't know who he is, he's beaten five UFC vets. Not fought five, beaten five. If you don't know who Chad Curry is, he's he's arguably the best prospect we've got in this state. Uber athlete, good wrestler, trained with Mario Roberto. So far, so good for, for uh, Curry. <laughs> There's not a lot you can do to stop Chad Curry's double leg. If he's in on the legs, he's well, probably going up. From an athletic standpoint, and, and Alonzo Martinez is a heck of a good athlete, as you can see right there. He's going to be hard to hold down. Yeah, a very good veteran, fought everybody. Yep, ton of fights. And he, you know, he's he's been there. He's been in this situation a thousand times. Oh, good right hand by Curry. Oh, took a good knee. knee by Martinez. Another good knee by Martinez. Curry's in a fight. I tell you what, you don't throw lazy kicks at Chad Curry, but Martinez right back up. He knows he can't be down there and get held down. So no. when he gets takes down, he's going to put maximum effort and get back to yeah. his feet. Like I said, Mar Martinez has been brought in to take on your stud local prospect a thousand times, you know, I mean, yeah. over and over in his career. He's been in this position, so he's not overwhelmed by no. the guy who's got great wrestling. He's seen that before. He can get slammed a few times, and it's not going to phase him. I said, we're talking about a guy who's fought everyone and beaten everyone, you know? 
Oh, Chan could have kept that leg inside. I mean, Dan, if you're if you're fighting Chad Curry, what's your game plan? I mean, how do you beat that guy? It's footwork, and you you gotta try to frustrate him and pick him apart from the outside move. And obviously, he's gonna come in. He's gonna shoot hard. Try to time a knee. Uh, Alonzo hit him with one earlier. He's yep. gonna clinch. If you can catch one coming in, try to land something. Uh, you know, obviously, Chad's been running through guys. We haven't seen his chin really tested in fights yet. So that's, I mean, obviously what you got to do is see, can the guy take a shot? Obviously, he can wrestle, he can take guys down, he can pound guys out there, and he's got good jiu-jitsu, so he can finish guys there. Can he stand on the feet and, and take shots? He's got a knockout on, in his career. He, he's got heavy hands, obviously, so he's a powerful guy. But can he sit there and outbox a guy for, for three rounds, and can he take shots? So you, know, you obviously got to try to land something. Curry landing a lot of inside knees here. Uh, one of them looked close to being a, a groin shot. Martinez asked for it. Ryder said no. Another good knee to the body by Curry. Now Curry up against the cage, not a spot where he is very often. I think this is where Martinez wants to fight. So if he can get some separation from Curry. I, I talked to a uh, coach of mine, uh, someone I, I trained now who had trained with. Martinez in the past said he's surprisingly strong. He doesn't. Tell. I mean, he doesn't look. Doesn't you look know, strong. he's not physically imposing. He's not very like a huge guy. He's not ripped, but he, he's holding his own in there with Chad Curry, who obviously is a very physically imposing guy, a muscular. And he's a guy who walks around at 180, 185 pounds. Yeah, and cuts down to 55. Took a good right hand uh, from Curry. Curry now clinched against the fence. I think it's been good that Curry has been hit. He knows he's in a fight now for the first time in his life. You know, Curry as a pro has never been on the first round. Those inside knees, Dan, I would guess, are gonna hurt later on. Yeah, he's, he's landed the same spot several times, so those are gonna add up. You can actually see a little coloring, it looks like, yep. inside of the left leg of Martinez. And Martinez doing a good job of trapping Chad's left arm so Chad can't advance too far here. No way you do not want Chad standing above you, though. Good elbow by Chad. More knees to the thigh. Martinez, good. I would keep doing that, because that would chop that guy's legs away later on. Chad's just relentless. You know? Chad doing well, tripping out the bottom oh. leg. Martinez, good, of course, of getting it back under him. He's stood up several times, taking some shots here now, though. And appears to be maybe cut on the head. There's a bruising for sure on the forehead. And I see blood on Chad's back. Which looks to be a little cut right above uh, Martinez's right eye. Yep. Tell you what, though, Martinez isn't going anywhere. No, even with the cut, he's he's not discouraged. He's a, again, he's been in there with everybody. He's been hurt. He's seen it all. Like I said, Curry is just relentless, though. It's a pretty good cut. It's not in a great spot. Now, if you're Martinez's corner, what are you saying, Dan? Well, we got to keep getting up. We can't let him uh, land the shots there on the ground. And then we got to try to hit him on the feet. We got to be a little more active on the feet. Obviously, be careful and let's not throw the lazy kicks. And uh, don't get reckless and get taken down. But we got to land stuff on the feet and score on the feet because he's. Chad's proven that we, he, he can take you down. So if you're going to get taken down, you got to score enough on the feet to kind of negate that and hopefully land something big enough to, to rock him and try to put him away. I was a little worried over on the cage here that Chad's knee buckled. He stepped backwards and stepped on that base of the cage. His leg buckled a little bit. I think it was more of a trip. The thing about Curry just smothers you, though. You know, you, he, you go down to the ground and he's picking your ankle. As soon as you try to get up, you, you know, he doesn't give you many openings. A good wrestling base. He has constant good head position and pressure forward, grinding him against the fence. So it's those trips and everything, it's adding up. And it's really just, uh, like you said, a relentless attack. Well, and like you said, some guys, high school wrestling does not translate well to MMA. Chad Curry's absolutely does. Chad was always the best guy on his feet. On the ground he wasn't. Oh! Big left hand by Curry. Clipped him just on the chin. 
Curry's just got the power takedowns that translate well. Some guys are slick wrestlers, right. you know, low singles and things like that don't translate well to MMA. But guys who can power double and guys who can hold people down are the kind of wrestlers that translate through. A big takedown there. Got a little bit greedy, maybe trying to slide that knee mount over because too close to the fence. Martinez, obviously, aware of his position, hips off the fence and is back to his feet. But again, you look at Martinez, that, that push off the cage probably gets him away from how many fighters? You're up and out against how many guys, but Curry's just right back on you. Yeah, he got up, but he didn't get very far. Back in again, you see Curry with a great head position grinding in, and especially knowing that the guy's got a cut, you keep that, you keep your hairline right on that cut, try to keep grinding that thing open. Curry with the double underhooks here, we'll see what he can do with it. Trying to drop, lower his position. He's got to get his elbows in tight. And if he does, he can expect Martinez to go for a ride. You know, I think that there's going to come a point here soon where you got to say you really want Curry to finish because Martinez, every second he's still alive in this fight, he's still alive. He's not going anywhere. A very dangerous guy, and he's he's well rounded. He's got the the strikes to put guys away on the feet, and yep. he's got submissions to catch you on the back. So you cannot be lazy for one second in a 15 minute fight. Like putting that leg up right there. I don't I don't know what he was doing. You know, he just offered that leg up to Chad there. Now Chad trying to get to the back, but he's just kind of isolated that arm, which opens yeah, up the strikes. He's slowly working into a mount here. He's just kind of yep. pressure forward. This half guard mount kind of position there. Can land some good strikes. Trying to trap the arm behind the head here. Going to get slam a... Him again, isn't he? Yeah. If he can pin that arm good enough, he can get some good strikes off again. Martinez frees it, if only for a second. I just think the best word is smothering. The pressure is never not there. And he trying to headlock Curry. How, how are you going to get that against idea. Chad Curry? That's a desperation move. Uh, head arm triangle yep. here. Curry's got it. He's Tough got the strength the to do it. Yeah, he's going to be able to slide out. If he can get the hips to the side, it's for sure done. Hey, he's about to tap, isn't he? If he could. What? Wow. He did thumbs up. That was uh, He did thumbs up, uh, sir. Oh, oh no. The most. He did a thumbs up there. Terrible. I think that's really bad. And that's going to be one that you're going to have to protest. Yeah. That was clearly a thumbs up. Uh, that one will be mired in controversy, I'll tell you. Man. Not the way we want to see the main event end. No, Jeremy Ryder. Uh, Jeremy normally a very, very good ref, but he, he is. And the thing was, he was a little shook earlier uh, in the amateur fight when and Brian Morrison landed the big shot. Yeah. He got a little shook there. He thought Carter was really hurt. He didn't want to see that. May have stopped this one a little early. You have to know that these guys are professionals. They're in a main event. Not only that, Alonzo Martinez has 50 fights. He's a guy. He's a guy that you let him fight. He, he fights till the end. He's willing to go out. I'd say the guy didn't trap all you like this. 